We've had a lot of people asking about alerts, so today I'm going to show you how to set up multiple alerts in your NinjaTrader software for different type of indicators. Welcome to Holy Grail Algo, simplified trading. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Holy Grail Algo is not liable for any loss or damages which may result directly or indirectly from such content. We're going to show you how to set up different type of alerts. Now, one is going to be if you have an indicator you're using that does a plot where it actually is is plottable on your chart. The other one is if it's going to make like a cross and I'm going to use like the EMA. So let's get started. So let's get started building an alert. First thing you want to do is bring up a chart. Now, I'm going to put this in playback. This is Saturday, May the 11th. So there's no activity. So I've got to put this in playback and I'm going to test my alert. I'll show you how to do this if you download some playback data. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click on my chart. And by the way, I'm going to use this on our smart channels indicator. This is a breakout indicator when it's breaking out. So I'm going to put this on here. Now you can use this alert. You know, this is alerts that is built into NinjaTrader. So this can be used on any indicator of your choice. In this case, I'm going to put it on smart channels. So let's go to alerts, right click on your chart and you'll get this window and you can see I don't have any alerts set up in here right now. It's going to default and say alert. Well, I'm going to give this a name. You can call it anything you want. So when Smart Channels breaks up or breaks out of the channel going long, I'm going to call that a break up. And I'm going to name it that way. The rearm type is going to be on bar close. In other words, when this bar closes of the trigger candle or of the alert, it's going to rearm itself so it can, t it can call another trade if it needs to. And I'm going to set the condition to if any. Now the next thing I have to do is add the condition to it and the condition is going to be set to a numeric value. The numeric value needs to be set at the default zero and I want this to be set to not equal and you have to select your indicator. So if you had more than one indicator in here you would have to select the indicator that you want the alert to be triggered upon. And I'm going to set this to smart channels and my choices here is break up or break down, which I want it to be broke to break up. Click OK. Now the next thing it is, is I need to add an action to it. So I have to add the action and this is what I want the alert to do when it fires the alert. You can play a sound, share a message, show a pop up, submit an order. I'm going to have it give me a pop up. I trade on a VPS and I don't get my sound to the VPS so I'm going to see a pop-up message on there. So I'm going to click OK and apply and you'll see that you now have a new alert over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a second alert for a breakdown or a short. So I click the add over here and it's going to default again to alert but I'm going to change that to break down and the rearm type again everything will be the same as bar close if any and we're going to give it a condition and it has to be set to numeric value in zero not equal and you have to select your indicator in here that you want it on I've only got one indicator right now and this time it's going to be set to break down click OK and again you must add the action after that and I'm going to have a pop-up message and you'll see it now has populated over here in the configured. I'm going to hit apply. Now one thing you can do if you ever want to turn your alerts off is to it's checked by default on enabled. You can disable them. You would have to do all of them in here if you want that to happen but I don't want that. I'm going to I'm going to want my alerts. Okay I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to hit OK and now we have alerts in here. So I've got this is this is again this is Saturday May the 11th the markets are closed so I've got playback downloaded in my NinjaTrader and this is uh, last this one day this last week. So now we'll hit the play button down here and when this fires slow this down here we should get a pop-up as soon as we get a plot or a print of the indicator on here when it breaks this channel for a breakout 
we should get the alert pop up. And we're breaking up. Now it's on bar close, so it has to wait for this candle to close. And that's the way I would trade anyway. And there it is. I'm going to just submit a, a market order here. And I'll speed this up here. But we've now entered the trade from the alert. And we've got an ATM kicked in right here to take the trade. And we got a nice little trade out of it. If you take your chart and change it over to a different instrument, like I'll put the MNQ in here and double click, you should get this little pop up. And it basically is telling you that you have two alerts that are assigned to this chart. And if you're going to change the chart, it's asking if you would like to move these alerts to the new instruments and they would be set up the same way. Now, if you're going to use the same indicator with the same type of alerts, you would, you could click yes. And now we're set up here in a, another chart with another instrument and we'll have the same alerts on this one here. So let's do another example of an alert and this will be a different type of alert but I've added a 200 EMA on my chart on the same day same time frame and what I want to do is I want to get an alert when the price crosses the EMA so to do this we're going to do the same thing we just click alert you can see we've already got two of them in here now we're going to add another one and let's call this the EMA cross up and we'll name this uh, put this to bar close because we want to know when it's going to rearm itself after it closes to any now this will be done a little bit differently on here instead of indicators you want to select your data series which is the candle itself so when the candle not the indicator right here and instead of equals, we want it to know when it crosses above and it has to be selected to the EMA. So what we've got here is the candle crosses above the EMA. We get this. Okay. Now we got to add our pop up or whatever type of action you want and hit apply. And now we have that. Let's add a second one for a cross down EMA cross down and this will also be on bar close if any add and we got to select the price or the candle itself crosses below and we have to select the EMA and there we go next is add the action for that we're going to do a pop-up and apply so now you should see four of them in here they're all enabled and we have our action and our conditions now so what should happen now at this point is is we have two two alerts enabled one is going to be when it crosses this EMA the other one is set to my smart channels indicator when it actually breaks up now let's test this here on the EMA now we have two alerts enabled one for the EMA the other one for the smart channels indicator that I've already put in here and we'll start this let's slow this down just a little bit here when this crosses the EMA we should get a an alert a pop up here on our screen and there it is you can see right there it had crossed up and there is our alert I'm going to go ahead and close it I'll slow this down a little bit continue playing this make sure the other alert works okay you can see what happened there it actually came back down below the EMA we got another alert so that's the cross down and as I speed this up and it crossed again I got another alert And then there's our breakup and we can enter the trade so if we and you can set this up for whichever 
indicator that you want to either cross or give you some type of an alert. So I hope this answers some questions on how to set up different type of alerts in your Ninja Trader. For smart channels, the indicator that you first saw on my chart, I use it every day along with lots of other traders. We have a Discord. You can check that out. Smart Channels is on sale right now. We do have a special. It's a unique indicator that is designed to catch breakout trades, and it's something like I've not seen before. Works very well, and a lot of traders are making some really big trades. You can check out our Discord and see some of the trades and the techniques that they use, the different type of candles and what they're trading it on. I'll put a link to a video that you can watch to some of the trades and how this works. So I want to thank everybody for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching Holy Grail Algo. Make sure to like, subscribe, and drop us some comments.